Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Black Lib just ordered the broke white people who voted for Trump to wake up. The American political class is always trying to tell regular Americans what to do and, especially, how to vote. Thankfully, regular Americans staged what was truly a revolt and elected successful businessman Donald Trump, a complete political outsider, to be America's newest president. The political establishment was, of course, stunned by this upset victory. Unfortunately for them and for the harmony of our country, they still have not accepted it or learned their lesson about not talking down to us anymore. An African-American, liberal pundit on CNN named Roland Martin clearly did not get the message. He first told black people why they should be angry about Trump, saying that he is making race-based appeals to his base by attacking NFL players but ignores supposed police brutality. He added, but he won't address that because he's weak. He wants to be Mr. Law and Order, but he doesn't want to deal with the real-life issues these players are talking about. So what he's doing is he's pushing his little buttons for his mostly white supporters. He then claimed that President Trump doesn't know how to read, saying, in order for you pass legislation, you actually need to know how to read, and how to talk to people. All this talk about, oh, I know how to make great deals? No, you can't because you don't know what you're doing. The political pundit then decided to lecture regular American white voters, saying, I need broke white people in America to wake up. They're the ones getting screwed. Y'all might want to wake up, hashtag, we tried to tell ya. Do you think this idiot Democrat needs to stop talking about things he doesn't know anything about? I tease over what Bill Clinton just did to Hillary will in their marriage. America has spent decades being terrified by the power couple of Bill and Hillary Clinton. Well, it looks like their sham marriage may finally be over. It turns out that, according to author Ed Klein Bill and Hillary have not spoken to each other for months other than going through friends and lawyers. Even better than that, the whole thing was over her new book What Happened. As the story goes. Bill was trying to help Hillary out before she published the book. He saw the title and the crazy blame game she played and desperately tried to convince her to delay publishing it until she had changed that stuff. This did not make her happy. He told her the book made her look bewildered, angry and confused, and that those were poor qualities in a person who aspired to be a world leader. He hated the title because calling it what happened would only make people say, you lost. He urged her to postpone the pub date and rewrite the book, but she yelled at him and said, the book is finished and that's how it's going to be published. Hillary screamed at her husband, as the story goes, and they have not spoken yet. To back up Klein's groundbreaking claim, it is worth noting that the last picture Bill and Hillary Clinton took together was in August before her book tour started. It's great news if the dynamic duo of cheating politics has finally ended and definitely worth making sure every conservative in America sees. Reporters freaking out after what Steve Bannon just said about choking out Mitch McConnell. Steve Bannon went on Sean Hannity last night to talk about his plans next year to take down the Washington elites. Steve Bannon said the following, We are going to cut off the oxygen to Mitch McConnell. Steve Bannon, by the way these guys work three days a week. The American people, now, they're working two jobs. Their wives are working two jobs. They know the urgency out there on the economic hate crimes that have been perpetuated on the American working men and women in this country because of the trade deals. We are declaring war on the Republican establishment that does not back the agenda that Donald Trump ran on and the President of the United States and that is an agenda that we know backs the men and women of this country. Sean Hannity, so this is basically a war because you know what McConnell did in Alabama. Steve Bannon, 
Carl Rove, Steve Law, they should get the joke because their donors are coming to us because they're tired of having their money burned up by trying to destroy people like Judge Moore. It's a new game in town. We're going to cut off the oxygen to Mitch McConnell. We are going to win. We are with you 100%, Steve. Share this if you want our government to start working the way it should ASAP. We need to make these swamp monsters scared of the citizens again. We pay their damn salaries. Be it down. Trump just forced the NFL to change its rules, the kneelers will hate it. President Donald Trump sent a tweet this morning that asks Congress to change a law allowing NFL organizations tax-exempt status. Of course, this has to do with the kneeling controversy we're all completely sick and tired of seeing every Sunday. Currently, the NFL rule says players must be on the sidelines during the anthem and that they should stand, for ESPN. According to the manual, during the national anthem, players on the field and bench areas should stand at attention, face the flag, hold helmets in their left hand, and refrain from talking. The problem is that the league has yet to enforce its rules. No player has been fined or suspended. Now, a new report confirms that NFL owners are thinking about changing the rules which will require players to stand for the anthem, according to CNBC. The owners of the NFL are reportedly considering a rule change that would make it mandatory for players to stand during the national anthem. A league spokesman said that the owners would discuss the potential change during a meeting next week, Dow Jones reported. Want to know why NFL owners are now considering a change? It's because ratings suck. The NFL's TV ratings are down so far this season and if that news isn't distressing enough for the biggest ratings driver on TV. The latest slump follows a 2016 season marked by unstable ratings that had pundits and analysts scratching their heads. H.T. Gateway Pundit Democrats scrambling after this audio clip comes out showing Weinstein assaulting woman. Wow, folks! This Harvey Weinstein scandal is getting completely out of control. You probably know by now that the Hollywood Uber producer has been accused of sexual harassment by mutable women, including actresses Ashley Judd and Rose McGowan. That's not all. Now, three women have come forward to accuse Harvey of rape. Also, shocking new audio has just been released where Weinstein admits to groping a beauty pageant finalist. From the Hill Three women have reportedly accused Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein of rape. The New Yorker reported Tuesday that actress Asia Argento and former aspiring actress Lucia Evans, along with a third woman, said Weinstein had raped them. Four other women told the publication they had experienced unwanted touching. Whoa! Harvey was recently fired from the Weinstein Company, for NPR. In light of new information about misconduct by Harvey Weinstein that has emerged in the past few days, the directors of the Weinstein Company, Robert Weinstein, Lance Mrov, Richard Konigsberg and Track Ben Amar, have determined, and have informed Harvey Weinstein, that his employment with the Weinstein Company is terminated, effective immediately. Stay tuned for more. The Democrats have now denounced Harvey Weinstein, according to CNN. They will give the money back. Clinton and Obama will not give back their money at this time. Get this out and don't let them cover this up. Share this to expose the sick inner core of the Democratic Party. H.T. Right Scoop A day after being suspended, Trump took down ESPN's Jimmel Hill with this one epic tweet. This morning, Trump went on a tear. He attacked ESPN host Jimmel Hill for her awful job as a member of the ESPN lineup. If you didn't remember, ESPN recently fired Jimmel Hill for tweeted the following quote out, created a problem for his players, specifically the black ones. If they don't kneel, some will see them as sellouts.
Her post references Jones's statement and said that any Dallas Cowboys player that disrespects the flag will not be allowed to play. ESPN's ratings have recently tanked. It's because of their crappy political talk. People come there to watch sports. They don't come there to watch politics. I know that we are all getting sick of all the football kneelers. They overpaid, overpampered babies. I get, get, get so mad thinking of all the soldiers that have died for this country. Many in the NFL have gotten second chances for horrible crimes. Share this everywhere patriots. It's time to end ESPN for good. It stands, Ezebiting, as Ports as, Politics, and Network. Disney should be ashamed that they still own it.